Hello YouTubers and welcome to lesson number 2 of the PMTG 737 NGX lessons. In this lesson we will be going through the FMC setup and what each page does and why we need to do it. So, we're going to bring up the FMC and firstly you'll come to a menu and if we go to PMTG setup and then basically this is all this PMTG actual setup so we can go to the load. Um, I've got some preloaded ones. Um, but uh, cold and dark is the main one really when you click that and then execute it will go into a complete cold and dark state and then we can set it up. Um, when I do record a cold and dark setup I'll put the link in the description for you. FSX actions, fuel, how much fuel we want to load it's obviously on this page and move that out of the way if we load different kinds of fuel, the fuel load will change and how much fuel we get. Um, payload, how many passengers, ground connections, so we've got most of the ground connections connected. Doors, we've got the entry door open and the air stair open. Um, we could open the cargo doors, so there's two pages for that. Pushback, we can't push back because we've got ground connections, but put your number of degrees, which is usually about 90, turn the nose left or right and how what is the straight distance you want so going actually into the main FMC now we're going to come to the identification page so we are in the 737-800 with winglets uh, engine rating 26,000 pounds of thrust uh, all the um, data for the aircraft position initialization page so we are at Oslo Torp, so we put the ICAO into the reference page, we put our um, gate number in, and then we click alongside the reference or the gate and copy and paste it into the set IRS position. Let's clear all that. And that will set that will set all this up and the aircraft will basically know where it is. Uh, route page. We put our origin, which is Oslo Torp, and then our destination airport, so it could be I don't know, Heathrow. Um, a company route, don't usually have them in FSX, but in real life they do have a company route where they just type in a number of digits, and the whole route is set out for them. Flight number, um, not really relevant, but once you do put your origin in there, another um, box will appear here saying run departure runway, so you put your departure runway in there. Then you put in all your waypoints in here, so the airway you're going to, and then the where waypoint you're going to through that airway. So that could be a couple of pages depending on how long your route is. If we go to the index and we go through, so we've gone through the ident route. Okay. Now if we go to the climb page, we put our cruise altitude in, and it will tell us the winds and stuff like that. If we go to the Growth initialization page, uh, click alongside ZFW and it will put that information for you about your weight and stuff. Uh, cruise altitude, so let's say 35,000 feet. Uh, reserves on fuel, so we can say 3 tons of fuel. And then a cost index. It will also give you a transition altitude, which will vary depending on where you are in the world. And then once you Put your cost index in there, let's say 20. You can click execute. Uh, N1 limit, so you need to fill out the um, takeoff page first. So, takeoff page in this aircraft, flaps in this aircraft is 5, and then center of gravity 24%, and then our trim would be 4.66. So, we'd set our trim to around 4.66. Uh, v, V1, VR and V2 speeds will all be calculated for us and we just click alongside them there. Cruise, yeah, already filled in. Climb is already filled in for us. Um, that page we don't really need but and then you can go and fill out um, a forecast at each waypoint. Your legs page, that all, all your routes will appear on the legs page and what altitude you need to be out, any speed or altitude restrictions would appear here. 
departure arrivals page um, when you actually key a route in you will go to a departure page and click alongside there and then select which runway and waypoint you are departing from and the same for the arrival page of that airport will um, fill in there for you uh, hold so we put a specific waypoint in there and we'd hold at that waypoint progress page will appear for you so all the progress so it'll tell you what time you're going to get there what fuel quantity you're going to be at at that waypoint very useful page fix page so you put in a waypoint or an airport in there and then you put a dash 10 miles and it'll put a radius of 10 miles around that waypoint or destination um, and for that that is pretty much it just for the explaining what the FMC is in the next episode lesson 3 I will be actually keying information into the FMC so you'll see about different how we put in different waypoints and stuff like that so thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in episode 3 and don't forget to subscribe